pretty bold. And y'all get on me about saying shit? Like, he literally just created that out of his ass. Riker didn't say that. Riker calls hardcore players noob. Try softcore first by Mr. Llama SC. <laughs> Ooh, Llama's got a call out video. Hey, did I, did I start a trend in the D4 community or? <laughs> All right. So that's obviously this Mr. Llama's video. Let's, I'm curious to see, cause I, I saw the live stream and Hubert really wasn't calling them noobs, but we'll get to that here in a little bit. Daggum, this is an hour and eight minutes long. Trigger warning. Triggered. What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lime SC here, and today we're going to be reacting to the Riker played Diablo 4 Endgame gameplay breakdown video that he just released. So Riker got to go. We saw him do the uh, interview with the devs, be a part of that stream um, where they talked a little bit more about the game. But while he was there, he got to play in the Endgame and got to have a few thoughts to share with all of us. So I would love. All right. Elefante in the room. You know you got to play the closed beta. You got to play in game also, but you're still under NDA, so you can't talk about it. So just stop with the green eyed monster a little bit and just know that you got to play it too. Y'all, every one of these big name guys that partners with Diablo, they got to play the closed, not not the one that we all got to play by buying the sandwich. I'm talking about the one back in November that wasn't done, that played the end game, they all got to play. They just bullshitting us. They all know the end game and what the deal is. It's called non-disclosure agreements. Why they can't talk about it. Love to hear more about um, what that's going to entail because, again, I think that's going to be a big part of will this game be continuous fun? Will this game be thousands of hours? Will this game be hundreds of hours, right? I think what will the uh, end game grind be and again like we've said i'm gonna put this at the start of the video so it's not in all the comments but i'm sure it will still be from people who don't listen games arpgs have repetitive nature to them that is just how it is a lot of great games are repetitive the question will be is that repetition fun or not fun and so this is coming from a man who has played a 20 plus year old game and farmed the same boss in the same dungeon layouts, like 15 layouts or whatever the preset layout is over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And you're concerned about if it's going to be fun. Well, so don't play it if you don't think it's going to be fun. Imagine being so mad that there's a new Diablo game and your game that you always played had this much stuff to do at the end. Well, there's really no end game. You're just refarming parts of the campaign. Have we thought about that for a minute real quick? The only end game in Diablo 2 per se is the Ubers. Technically. The other time, you're literally just farming campaign. That, that's all there is to do in Diablo 2 is campaign, and you're farming those specific bosses in the campaign. So, <laughs> I mean, just the fact that we're having this silly argument about is there stuff, is it busy, is it, is it engaging, will it keep you engaged? Um, enemies are more fearsome. I wish that was more. What does that mean? What does it mean? Fearsome. It's, it's, <laughs> he's going to look at that like it's an attribute or something. So obviously they're highlighting features in the game. Like, so, so you're not, are you looking at, at overcome and going overcome? What does overcome mean? I wish they were more clear about overcome. 
No, it's enemies are more fearsome, which means they're fucking scarier. Which means they're, they're like they're they're tougher. Like I, I don't understand. It means they're fucking scary. It's bad when the redneck has to give you a vocab class. Fearsome, frightening, especially in appearance. That's what it means. It's not more stamina, more experience. You're reading into things way too much, and that's a goddamn problem. If if it was something they wanted us to see, if it was an attribute about the game, it would be highlighted like the rest of them are. 100% increased experience. They drop 15% more gold. And monsters overcome 40% resistance. I really wish they would just make this simpler. What does overcoming resistance mean? It means they bypass 40% of your resistance. I thought this guy was smart. I, I don't understand. Bro, stop playing stupid, dude. You're not... Stop it. Stop. You know what overcome 40% of resistance means. Use your fucking brain a tiny little bit. It means that they are going to overcome 40% of your resistance, which means, okay, if you have 40% resistance, it now becomes zero. They bypass 40% of that. If you have 60% resistance, that means you really have 20% that's actually usable. What do you mean? This guy's playing y'all, dude. He knows good and goddamn well what all this shit means. This man's been playing Diablo games for a long time, and he's looking for any tiny goddamn little thing that he can nitpick about so y'all will be confused and be on his side and don't want to go play the game. Bro, you got to stop this shit. You need to embrace the game. Stop nitpicking everything. It's very simple. If you don't know what overcome means, you can just pull up a dictionary and look up what overcome means. Does that mean they gain more resistance or they overcome our 40 resistance? What does it say? You don't read good, do you? Monsters overcome 40% resistance. This is second grade reading comprehension, bro. The monsters overcome 40% of your resistances. Is that better? Does that make you understand it a little bit better? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Uh, like challenge, right? Compared to something like D2, right? Like in Diablo 2, if you're level 45 fighting in an area level 50 versus level 50 fighting in an area level 50, uh, there's so much that like you might be you know news flash this game is just like that diablo 4 is just like that did he not play he must not play the beta he must like secretly play d2r the whole time the beta was going on because y'all remember all the bosses have levels all the areas have levels. Y'all remember the str level 25 strongholds, the level 35 boss, like you didn't play. I'm calling, I'm, I, I'm just, I'm calling it. He didn't play the beta y'all. He didn't play the beta. There ain't no goddamn way because you would not even bring up points like this. If you actually played the beta, no, it's nothing like Diablo three, the game style. And, and maybe this is why he really doesn't like the game. The game style is way more like Diablo two. And that is universal acceptance i won't say it's fact but it's a pretty common opinion let's say that pretty common opinion that it's more like diablo 2 than diablo 3 so you're gonna have to get over this and stop just inventing shit to cry about dude you're gonna be a tiny bit weaker but like it won't be as much but in d3 and immortal um I know that, you know, if you're like a few levels below the area, there's, there's like big penalties and stuff. Um, and it just, it what is he even talking about? We're talking about end game and there's no penalty. If you opened a, I guess the penalty was you got your ass wiped. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. If you opened a 150, you weren't ready for a 150, you just couldn't do it. There wasn't any penalties because you weren't a certain level. Tell me that you never played Diablo 3 without telling me you never played Diablo 3. Four, so I'm learning how it works. I'm learning how the mechanics of the build work. I'm learning how the mechanics of the fight work. And again, <laughs> I would almost advise a hardcore player, maybe just try softcore first. 
just to know Dang. what you're up against. Riker calls out hardcore players? Was no, surely you're not that soft where you think that's a call out. No, that's a, that's a call out. Noobs, try softcore. That is a direct quote from Riker. Wow, that's pretty bold. <laughs> And y'all get on me about saying shit? Like, he literally just created that out of his ass. Riker didn't say that. Riker didn't say, no, you guys are noobs. But, so here's another reason why Riker probably said that. Because all of you hardcore players are the same ones that are on the forums bitching and asking damn Rod Ferguson and shit, is hardcore really hardcore in PvP? Is, is it death? And then when he says, permadeath, you're like, oh my god! So that's why he's saying that, because hardcore is, it's fucking hardcore. If you die, you die. It doesn't matter where it is. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you got spoiled in D3 because you could go do a set dungeon and not and, and die and still not lose your character, but that's not true hardcore. That's why I don't play hardcore. Everyone's like, Hog, why don't you play hardcore? Well, that's why. Because I don't want to break all my fucking equipment when I lose all my shit. Because I will literally take this here monitor, break it in half, take this one, break it in half, throw my keyboard like a ninja star, take the PC, punt it into the damn lake. I mean, that's what'll happen. I'm not doing it. But this, I, I, just like I saw. So here we go. We, we five minutes, 12 minutes in, and it's just bullshit as usual. Like, are you fucking kidding me? But that's why he's calling. He's not even calling anybody out. Like, that's why I said in the beginning, I don't think this is a real thing because he ain't calling nobody out because I watched it. He's simply saying, try, it's a brand new game, so try softcore first so you understand how shit works because <laughs> everyone's seen it. It ain't just me. All of y'all hardcore players are crying about hardcore. Not Maybe not all of y'all, but a lot of y'all are crying. <laughs> Hardcore's hardcore. There's no honor system. Rebel, 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 rebel. God, and you're crying about adjectives. Like, I really wish I knew what this adjective meant. Too bad they don't have a dictionary. <laughs> this is a damn clown show. Ah! I'm not going to watch an hour of this shit because it's just a clown show. We know the man didn't say it, whatever. <laughs> Y'all just try, like, so this is what it is. It's this community so desperate for content at this point that we're like self imploding on each other. <laughs> No, that's enough of that. That's all I can take. Uh, y'all, if y'all need a Discord to run with, the House of Hog, my community, we ain't mild, we wild. Links in the description down there. We'd love for you to join. Uh, if y'all want to do me a favor and follow me over on Twitch at Hog Gaming, same thing over here. I'm starting to do a lot more Twitch stuff and uh, doing a lot more stuff over there. So love it if you follow me over there. And uh, make sure to hit like and subscribe for more Diablo 4 content. I know it's getting stale. There's nothing to make content about. And I promised y'all I wasn't going to, recycle these other channels twitter clickbait scrolls as official this i'm just not doing that so we're just going to be patient server slams coming real soon and uh we'll see you next time